Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Chris Dost. Welcome back to our Speaking Arabic series. This video is our sixth lesson, and in it we're going to be learning how to say he is hungry, he is thirsty, she is hungry, she is thirsty, he wants to eat or to drink, she wants to eat or to drink. Before we get started, however, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click the bell so that you're notified when I publish videos like this in the future. And please be sure to share this video on social media so that others can learn about this channel as well. I really appreciate the support. All right, let's get started. We've learned in previous videos that the pronoun I, both for masculine and feminine, is Anna. 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 How do we say you in the masculine singular? Inta. 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 And you in the feminine singular? Inti, inti, inti. He. Huwe, huwe. She. Hie, hie. How do we say the word hungry? in both the masculine singular and the feminine singular. Juan in the masculine, Juan, and Juane in the feminine singular, Juane. Thirsty is Rachan, Rachan in the masculine singular. Remember that the number three is used at the beginning of the word because in Arabic there is a letter that looks like a backwards three, and it produces the throat sound, ah. Rachan, rachan. And we said there's a dot underneath the T because that's more of a cloudy, emphatic T. To, to, as opposed to a regular T, t, t. So when it has a dot, to, to. And so therefore, we pronounce this word, rachan, rachan, and in the feminine singular, Rachane, Rachane. All right, how would we say I am hungry and I am not hungry? Now remember, we have to give both the masculine and the feminine forms of these sentences. So we're looking for four sentences here. I am hungry in the masculine. I am not hungry in the masculine. I am hungry in the feminine. I am not hungry in the feminine. You may want to pause the recording here to give yourself a little bit of time to produce these sentences. All right, I am hungry in the masculine singular is Anna Joanne, Anna Joanne. I am not hungry in the masculine singular is Anna Mish Joanne, Anna Mish Joanne. I am hungry in the feminine singular Anna Joanne, Anna Joanne. And I am not hungry in the feminine singular is Anna Mish Joanne, Anna Mish Joanne. Okay, let's do the same thing with the word thirsty. Pause the recording, give yourself a few seconds so that you can see if you can create all four of these sentences on your own. I am thirsty in the masculine is Anna Rachan. Anna Rachan. I am not thirsty in the masculine is Anna Mish Rachan. Anna Mish Rachan. I am thirsty in the feminine singular is Anna Rachane, Anna Rachane, and I am not thirsty in the feminine singular Anna Mish Rachane, Anna Mish Rachane. Now, how would we say you are hungry and you are not hungry in the masculine singular? Inte Joan means you are hungry. Inte Juran means you are hungry. It also means, are you hungry, by the way. Inte Juran, are you hungry? Inte Juran, you are hungry. And you are not hungry would be Inte Mish Juran. Inte Mish Juran. 
Now, how would we say you are thirsty and you are not thirsty in the masculine singular? Again, pause the recording if you need to, to give yourself some time to answer. Inte rachen means you are thirsty. Inte rachen means you are thirsty. And inte mish achen means you are not thirsty. Inte mish achen means you are not thirsty. Now, how would we say you are hungry and you are not hungry in the feminine singular? You are hungry is inti jurane. Inti jurane. We could also turn that into a question by raising the inflection in our voice. Inti jurane. Inti jurane. And if we want to say you are not hungry, inti mis jurane. Inti mis jurane. Now, how would we say you are thirsty and you are not thirsty in the feminine singular? Inti achane means you are thirsty. Inti achane, you are thirsty. And inti mish achane, inti mish achane means you are not thirsty. Now, how would we say he is hungry and he is not hungry? Well, we've learned that he is huwe, huwe. So he is hungry, huwe, juan, huwe, juan. And he is not hungry, huwe, mish, juan, huwe, mish, juan. He is thirsty, he is not thirsty. Huwe, achan, huwe, achan. And he is not thirsty. Huwe mish achan. Huwe mish achan. She is hungry. She is not hungry. Hiye joane. Hiye joane. And hiye mish joane, respectively. How would we say she is not thirsty? Hiye achane. Hiye achane. And she is not thirsty. Hiye mish achane. Hiye mish achane. Now we've learned that I want is biddi. Biddi. Bid means want and the I suffix means I. So biddi means I want. If we want to say you want in the masculine singular, we say biddek. Biddek. And you want in the feminine singular, biddik, biddik. To say he wants, it is biddo, biddo, biddo. And she wants is bidha, bidha, bidha. All right, now I want to form some sentences from words that we know. But in order to form these sentences, you're going to have to learn one new word, and that is ishi, which means something. Ishi. Ishi. So how do we say, do you want something to a male? Do you want something? Biddak ishi? Biddak ishi? Biddak ishi? And if the male wants to say, yes, I want something, he can say, Aywa biddi ishi. Aywa biddi ishi. Aywa biddi ishi. Yes, I want something. Aywa biddi ishi. Now, if we want to ask a female, do you want something? We would ask her, biddik ishi? Biddik ishi? And if she wanted to say, yes, I want something, she would say it the same way that a male would. Aywa biddi ishi. Aywa biddi ishi. Now, how would we say, does he want something? Pause the recording if you need to, to try to figure out the answer. Biddo ishi. Biddo ishi. And if we want to say, yes, he wants something. Aywa, biddo ishi. Aywa, 
Biddo Ishi. Does she want something? Bidha Ishi? Bidha Ishi? Yes, she wants something. Aywa Bidha Ishi. Aywa Bidha Ishi. Now we've learned that I do not want is ma bidish, ma bidish, literally not want I not. The ma and the sh at the end both mean not. So I do not want is literally not want I not. Ma bidish, ma bidish. You do not want is ma bidaksh, ma bidaksh. And for a female, Ma bidkish, ma bidkish, ma bidkish. So how would we say he does not want? Literally, not wants he not. Ma bidosh, ma bidosh. And she does not want? Ma bidhash, ma bidhash, ma bidhash. So how would we say, no, he does not want anything? No, he does not want anything. La mabidosh wala ishi. La mabidosh wala ishi. Now notice that wala ishi means nothing. So unlike English, we use a double negative here. No, he does not want nothing. That's how we would say it in Palestinian Arabic. La no, she does not want anything. Now we've learned that akol means I eat. You eat is takol. Well, it just so happens that this is also the form that means she eats. Now, this is going to be real confusing initially. And some of you may ask the question, how are we supposed to know whether to translate it you eat or she eats? And the answer is always context. The context will tell you whether it means you eat for a male or she eats. You eat for a female is takli. Takli. And he eats is yakul. Yakul. I drink is ashrab. Ashrab. You drink for a male and she drinks is tishrab. Tishrab. You drink for a female is tishrabi. Tishrabi. And he drinks is yishrab, yishrab. So how would we say, I want to eat something. I want to eat something. Literally, I want, I eat something. Biddi akul ishi. Biddi akul ishi. She wants to eat something. Literally, she wants, she eat something. Bidha takul ishi. Bidha takul ishi. Bidha takul ishi. And if you wanted to say you want to eat something for a male, it would be Biddak takul ishi. Biddak takul ishi. Do you notice how we were able to distinguish what takul means in both of these sentences? Here, takul has to mean you eat for a male because it follows biddak. The masculine singular way of saying you want. But in the previous sentence, takol has to mean she eats because it follows bidha. Bidha. He wants to eat something. Biddo yakol ishi. Biddo yakol ishi. Is she hungry? Does she want to eat something? Pause the recording and see if you can figure out the answer on your own. 
هي جوعانة بدها تاكل إشي؟ هي جوعانة بدها تاكل إشي؟ Yes, she is hungry. She wants to eat an apple. أيوة هي جوعانة بدها تاكل تفاحة. أيوة هي جوعانة بدها تاكل تفاحة. Is he thirsty? Does he want to drink something? هو عطشان هو عطشان بده يشرب شيء بده يشرب شيء No, he is not thirsty. He does not want to drink something. لا هو مش عطشان ما بدوش يشرب ولا شيء لا هو مش عطشان ما بدوش يشرب ولا شيء if you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, to click the bell so that you can be notified when I publish videos like this in the future, and please be sure to share this video on social media. I really appreciate the support. All right, see you next time, everybody.